hey, I've got laryngitis today, but it doesn't matter because I've got this really cool Bell & Howell 16 millimeter film projector that I'm going to be putting new parts on today. It's a model 1574. I did some research. It was uh, manufactured in around 1975, which is right around when Jaws came out. But what's even cooler than that is that this projector has hardly ever been used. Because it's been sitting around for so long, the belt was too loose and so I had to order a new belt. And I was able to do that off of eBay. And I'm getting ready to put that on. Also, the gears have got grease on them from back from the 70s. And it is literally like, it's all, I don't know, kind of hardened and sticky. So it's all got to be cleaned off and I've got to put new grease on. So I'm going to do all of this and I'm going to get it running and I'm going to have some fun turning the machine on and seeing it run. Um, this is the lamp. Um, I'm going to have to take that out to get to the piece that um, the, the little drive pulley that the belt goes around. So I'm going to loop it on to the motor here. And we're going to come up in between the pulley and this piece of metal here and slip the belt on. Make sure it's not twisted. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the lamp socket back in place. This would have been a lot easier if I, taking it off, if I had known this thing had to come off to begin with. Because, I mean, it made it almost impossible. To, to get the belt off, but it was so easy going back on. So I guess hindsight's 2020. Kind of run into a little snag here. It's this little clamp that holds the motor down on its cradle, and there was no need for me to even take it off. It's one of those things it's just gonna have to catch. I don't wanna have to take the whole bracket off because then it comes into two pieces. Boy, let's see. Just about done. Hey, what about that? It works. Now, I just got to get a film. <laughs> 